Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, fellow officers. Thank you very much, friends, relatives, and distinguished guests. I'm so happy to see you all celebrating our country's liberation. Thank you very much. I'm a man of few words, but I must say this. Uganda is now a free country. Thank you very much. Ugandans will now be free to discuss everything. Thank you very much. My government will not tolerate interference from politicians while I am busy rebuilding Uganda. If you try, you will be defeated, for I am the world's strongest general. Ask my soldiers. Ask those who have had the honor of boxing me. Ask my wives. Why even ask my girlfriends? <laughs> ben is a good man and clever man. That's why Obote feared him. That's why Obote put him in prison. That's why I make him my big judge. Thank you very much. I am both honored and deeply moved, General. I'm also looking forward to overseeing the new elections. This is not time to discuss politics, my friend. I can only say that I clean up Uganda, and I'm assure you, I go back to barracks. Doctor, this is not excite like before. Maybe I need a checkup. Women love me because I'm never too tired. Let me tell you, I'm the world's greatest lover. <laughs> they all want and mean. Right, baby? Sure, you're right. This is my wife, Doctor. Call the temperature. There's not much I can do for her here. I need some ice. Sure. There are plenty in the fridge. See the chef in the kitchen. I'll come back. I want you to go to the airport. Check up on the okay? And you are looking very white. You see much more on the operating table every day. Anytime there is a change of power in Africa, a few heads must roll. But why? <laughs> you will not understand that. This is a Kakwa custom. The pygmies, they do it all the time. Also, sometimes I lecture their spirits about their evil ways. But Dr. Dean, he was about a man. I must get the ice. I have been informed that Chief Justice Kiwanuka met a very untimely death. He was my best friend, you know. The culprits of this terrible crime should be brought to justice. The killers must have been Obote gorillas. I want to see the body of my friend. Get out. I must pray for Kiwanuka's soul alone. Excellency. Ringone, Madame Yateko, and the Madame Sujo, what you are seeing, and you should say, and you will be able to wear it. I'm the biggest African leader. Everybody is calling me the great black power of African continent. I'm the conqueror of the British Empire. 
This demonstration shows that I'm not a racist at all. They consider me a brilliant, tough African leader. Thank you very much. And thank you very much indeed. Who is that beautiful lady over there? I don't know, Your Excellency. Get it of the boyfriend. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Could you come with us? Now, who are you, my dear lovely lady? I'm Mary Mosoke, Your Excellency. It's a pleasure to meet you. My fiance over there. Don't with worry about him. My, my, you are just my type. So young and full of life. I want you to be near me for the rest of the night so that I can enjoy you. Oh, no, no! No, let go of me! 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 I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I swear I'll kill you! You let me fool you, kill me? The strongest man in Africa? Please don't hide now. Boy! Boy! Get this stupid woman out here. She's spoiling my sheets. What's your name? Sarah, Your Excellency. And how old are you? Seventeen, Your Excellency. My, my. Your body has done well for 17 years. Moses, get out. You like us? Yes, Your Excellency. You are so beautiful, my darling. You stay in Kampala? Yes, Your Excellency. Where do you work? I'm recently recruited in the army as a trainee. Oh, such a beautiful lady. What are you doing in the army? Your place should be in my palace. <laughs> to hell with the rest. There are better things to write than cars. Ah, oh, my dear. You are nice. So pure. You make your president a very good boy. To share this important moment for Uganda. I've just taken this lovely maiden as my new bride. I have a secret army already in South Africa who are waiting for the green light. <laughs> Your Excellency, this is a surprise. Welcome. What do you mean we have no money? I need at least one million dollars for intelligence mission immediately. I told you on the telephone that I need this money urgently. Your Excellency, as I told already also, we're bankrupt. We're simply out of foreign currency. Well, print more. Your Excellency, it's not quite that simple. We cannot print foreign currency. I'm having a lot of difficulties these days in persuading our foreign suppliers to accept late payments. The Uganda shilling is worthless today in the foreign market. In fact, worthless than toilet paper. Toilet paper? You call Uganda money shit money? Take governor here outside and show him what we do to shit. Imperialists will not run Uganda's banks. Yes, sir. You are mistaken, Your Excellency. I wasn't arguing with you. I was only trying to explain. Take him away. Let me explain. What's your name? John. John, Your Excellency. John uh, Ogel. Well, Ogel. You are now the governor. Are you going to bring more money? Yes, Your Excellency. Yes, uh, we will do it right away, sir. As much as you want. Yes, sir. Bob, tell me about what they are writing about me in overseas newspapers. Do they mention my interview when I said I was the conqueror of the British Empire? No, that was last year in newspapers all over the world. Well, here's one story, calling you Africa's black Hitler. <laughs> Good. I like that. 
Hitler did the world a favor in getting rid of so many Zionists. He should have killed more. I'm going to put a statue of him in the heart of Kampala. Here's an interesting one. Rumors about underground terrorist forces being built up here to stage a coup. Nonsense. The people love Big Daddy. Do they mention any names? No, just mention they're going to fight you to stop further bloodshed and plundering of the economy. Oh yes, but he was not supplying arms quick enough. Also, he called me an overgrown crybaby. You're right. What do we do? Well, let me go and persuade them there's been a misunderstanding. And we'd still want them to stay. No, no. I will go. People listen to me, you know. Ambassador, why are you going? Why are my best friends leaving me? We are merely following your wishes, Mr. President. Since we won't apologize, we are leaving as requested. No, 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 no. What I said was only a joke. Uganda loves Russia. We need you here. We really do. It was only a joke. <laughs> well, I'll have to call the Kremlin first. You go do that. I know your chiefs would like you to stay Uganda's best friend. Meanwhile, while you are away, I will entertain our comrades. You bitch. Chop her arms and legs off. But why, Your Excellency? She's already dead. Do as I say. Quickly. This wife of mine was unfaithful. So she has now paid for her sin. Nobody makes fool of me, Big Daddy. Let him see. Children, you see what happens to bad mummies? <laughs> I thought I'd finished with my enemies, but still some are after me. Who are they? I fear no one but God. I Either a man is my friend or my enemy. If he's my enemy, he must die. Dano Ewasigu. What? What do you mean? Dano Ewasigu. Ah. You must mean about the people. I will destroy their homes. I will destroy their villages. I will destroy them all. How do you feel now? How do I feel now? You wanted to kill me. You coward. Go away. How many people have you killed today? One day you will die the same fate. Your Excellency, please, she's not feeling very well. What can this coward do more than what he has done? He killed his ministers, his friends, his wives. Why doesn't he now kill himself? No white man is going to call a man a village tyrant and get away with it. I am Uganda's chief judge commissioner. I will only release this Dennis Hills of yours on one condition, that the Queen must come to Uganda. Your Excellency, that is impossible. I said the Queen must come, or else Dennis Hills will be executed. I should have killed them all. You just can't trust those shoes. But they destroyed my jets, damaged my airport, killed my men. And got away with everybody. That old woman must die. That will teach them to attack Uganda. I'd like to speak to the president. Just hold on. Hello? Your Excellency. The Israeli woman, Dora Block, has just been brutally taken by your men from hospital. Oh, forget about that old woman. If anybody calls about her, you just say she was released this afternoon. But she is a sick old woman. And she hasn't been discharged. None of your business. I will stack them all. I'm sorry. You see, they are not religious sort. Press, come and take some good photograph with my friend here.
You have been recently praying for peace in Uganda and Uwu. You must know about the plot that is to be unleashed against me. Some of my ministers are involved too. I've always been praying for peace in Uganda as well as elsewhere. Admit you know about this coup attempt, then I'll let you go. I have nothing to tell you, Your Excellency. There is and will be no blood on my hands. You write me letters telling me the head of state what to do. Tell me the names of other plotters. I have nothing to tell you, Your Excellency, because I do not fear death. Stop hiding behind your white collar, you important bastard! I'll make you eat it! Here, it a minute, God! You hear me? I'm God! I lost my temper! I killed the Archbishop! What do we do? We have something cover up, Your Excellency. Show that the Archbishop and the other ministers died in car accident. The world will have to be found in such a story. See to it! Allah has given him his just punishment. He died in a car accident. In a car accident? I said he died in a car accident. I have called you here to fix a report to show they died from internal injuries. No, I can't. You can't. You fix the reports as I've told you. Or there will be a report out on you saying that you died of heart attack. Understand? I do not fear death, for I've survived nine attempts. I'm invisible.